hope you guys didn't miss my live. I'm actually filming this the same day that I went live on YouTube. But if you missed it, go ahead and click onto that because y'all, I had a good time. Welcome back to my channel everybody, my supporters, and those who just want to attack me. Welcome! Easy and Natalie posted a video called Why I Can't Live With My Girlfriend After 4 Years. The Truth. Well listen, I'm gonna tell you what the truth is. Cause they don't have to live together. They need their individual time to grow, to better themselves. That's okay, y'all ain't gotta rush to live together and live a married lifestyle. Let's go ahead and react to this video. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. An easy gang to help us try to make a huge decision like this. This is big, this is big. Yeah, we can make a break us. You must not want real kids, huh? What, what's up? What y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What are you doing? <laughs> With your socks on. What are you doing? I'm shaving, Natalie. What are you? Get out, Natalie. <laughs> One, why are you in my robe? Two, why? Hold on, I didn't even know Easy had a tattoo on her leg. I'm thinking about getting some on my leg too. I got chicken legs, but it'd be nice to have a little design on it. Shaving with socks on. Which one is it? Shave my feet? Which one is it? Which one is it? <laughs> and why are you using my? Is that? Bro. What? You Bro! What? I thought this was for me! Literally, you got this post for ah, this line, right? A sponsorship. This is a sponsorship. But this is the kind of sponsorship that I like from YouTubers. I don't like the typical, I'm gonna read off a script, and bam, there you go. Add a little skit to it. Add some comedy. Add some fun. I like this. Oh, that is for my brother. What are you talking about? It's for your brother. So you gonna blame it on your brother, right? You gonna use my Harry's gift set for yourself? <laughs> I thought it's for my brother. Baby, why was it here? I mean, I guess, I guess you can use it too, but it this wasn't for you. It literally says it's unisex, baby. Like, I, for women and women. Like, So let me tell y'all about my limited edition tell it, girl. Winston gift set. Okay. Tell it, girl. Make that money. I like what you guys did, but they're not paying me to promote them. So, by the way, I got something going on. I do have a sponsorship that I'm working on. You will see that video soon. Easy gang! Gang, 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 Yo, today we got a special guest, y'all. I would like you guys to officially, oh, you guys already met him, but the people that are new to I see your little necklace. You're already wearing the gift. Nat Nat got you. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you guys subscribe. I and see. I want to introduce my baby boy, Pluto! Today is about to be lit. We're gonna have a good, good day. You know, we're gonna have a little vloggy vlog, and of course, our special right. guest Pluto, the French, on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow him. Instagram right there. You guys don't. Another income coming in in Instagram, which is what a lot of influencers are doing. Why not make multiple incomes? You know what? I'm gonna put up an Instagram for my pet. I know my fans are gonna follow. That's business, y'all. I have another son as well. His name is Boss. I didn't forget about him, you know. I can't wait for him to meet Pluto. Needs one more shot until he can meet his brother. I'm about to get in the car with Natalie right now. She's about to see her sonny. Boo, boo. Look at his eyes. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Remember, record your favorite part of this video. And look, you should be rocking my brand new chain my baby girl. I saw it. I'm sorry, my brother's thinking I ain't a salad, y'all. I'm talking really fast. I feel like I'm really, really talking fast. Anyway, all right, easy game. Let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. Cool it is. <laughs> His little sweater. Hey, baby. What up? What up, baby? Oh. I could have masked him. I know, huh? I didn't even think about it. I do got a flannel, too. That would have been dope. <laughs> have y'all met my dog? I have a little shih tzu. His name is Gizmo. Let me go get him real quick. This is Gizmo, y'all. Can y'all see him? Well, let's not show his little pee pee. But this is Gizmo. Say hi to him. <laughs> he doesn't know why he's on the table. Is he the cutest dog ever? I love him so much. Okay, baby. I am putting up an Instagram for him because I can barely manage mine, so. Oh. So what's up? What's up? Hey, what's new with you? What's new with you, beautiful? Um, you know, just running around, running uh -huh. some errands. Yes. So, yeah. so I thought I'd bring our little baby with us so yeah. we can run errands with uh, Kimmy. 
Michelle is getting so big. He's look definitely at, growing into his Frenchy features. Yeah. Check out that. Check out that face. Oh, look at that face. Look at that. Okay, let's get on the roll. Let's get on the roll. You ready? Yup. You ready, ready? Yeah, you gotta take him though, because this is a hazard. Oh yeah, he can't drive while holding a baby. And you know, hand me my booty. Booty booty. Oh my god, we're such a happy family. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. just like you. <laughs> Oh, Natalie got the jokes jokes, y'all. That's okay, he's handsome. And hey, dogs be looking like their owners. I ain't lying. Handsome. He's so handsome. He's like, look, I am trying to lay down and go to sleep. Usually he's in his car seat, y'all, but, you know, I'm a little risque. He doesn't know about this film life. Yeah. He doesn't know about this film life. He can't sleep when we have the film Yeah, we wake up, wake uh, up. Oh, I see the little car seat back there. Yeah. Okay, y'all are just like me. I have one too for Gizmo. We some good mamas. Starbucks right now. Have you guys heard of Starbucks literally not having a drive-thru? Like, I didn't even know that didn't exist anymore. But I wanted to take a minute with you guys real quick um, and tell y'all that I have been seeing your comments a lot asking whether or not Easy and I are going to move in together. So I decided, you know, I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna get some Starbucks and then we're gonna talk about it in the car. So oh, okay. get ready. Ooh wee! What the see ya, baby? What the see ya? Because I know you're picky and I know you like that. I didn't want to get you something that I didn't know if you would like. Baby, I like caramel though, too. I like caramel. You know, I love car caramel. We can start with saying thank you. You know, Babe. be thankful, be grateful. Latte. You know? Thank you, Natalie. I appreciate you. I'm so sorry. I got too comfortable. Yeah, I'm great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What you get, Pluto? They do have dog treats in there. They do. That's one advice that I would give to couples is never stop saying thank you. When your partner goes out of their way and shows some form of effort to make you happy, show some appreciation by saying the words thank you. It goes a long way. Did you get him one? I didn't think about Did you it. Get your baby one, Pluto. Listen, What's I I'm told and jumping? them. I was gonna ask you a question. Uh oh. Ooh, there she go again with these questions. They wanna know. Okay. They wanna know. What do they wanna know? And when did, wait, where did you hear this information? Because I didn't hear it. <laughs> did I hear it? It's no. because, you know, the prank queen really just cares about wow. family, her kneesy game. What? So I no, actually really no, pay attention no. to them. There's no way you can sit here and say that everybody can justify from our last few videos ago. I am the ultimate prank queen. That is already a given. You have Okay, can we stop talking about the damn fake pranks? Can we get to that question about y'all eventually living together? Because that's what I want to know. Earn. Let's get that's to right. it, please. Don't Earn. try to take it. Earn it. Okay. So they want to know. Oh, they want to know. When are we going to move in together? I mean, <laughs> sheesh. They want to know. <gasps> when are we going to move Who that? Who that is? Yeah. Oh, look, Ben Arden. Who that is? Oh, okay. I love the way you're changing the subject and stuff, too. What? What are you talking about? Who's <laughs> her? Ah! You know, like, they ain't worried about us. They is worried about us. Honestly, that's a, you know, a tough question because it's like, who's to say that we're going to be together forever? You know? <laughs> Last time I said that, <laughs> you told me not to say that. You're right. You're right. Okay. You're right. You're right. Okay. Honestly, though, until her lease is up. That's when we're moving in together, right? That's so exactly what I was thinking, is when her lease is up. She just moved into that apartment. She either has a one-year lease, a two-year lease, a seven-month lease. If she was smart enough, she should have gotten a month-by-month -month lease. Because especially in California, you never know what's going to happen, especially in the entertainment industry. Month-to-month -month is the best way to go. Oh, we honestly, let me, let, well, let's ask her advice. Okay. Let's ask her advice because we, we're honestly just not sure. So not this sure. is something that we, you know, think we need. Y'all heard that, right? Easy and Natalie, super, super, super fanatics. Y'all heard that, right? She's asking for our advice. That includes me. So my advice is wait a little longer. Y'all ain't got a rush. Y'all are young. Y'all relationship ain't going nowhere, right? Things are going great. Give us some time. If you signed a one to two year lease, complete that lease. And when that lease is over, then think about it. Talk about it. If both of you are on the same page and you feel it's the right time, then do the damn thing. But don't rush it. To 
Talk about talk about an easy trouble. game. Okay, let's Maybe y'all can give us some good life advice. Give All us right. some advice. So here's the thing. So you guys know I moved into my apartment about four months ago. Yep. Right. She been living. I've been living on my own. Okay. She grown. <laughs> grown, grown. She had, she grown, grown. All right. <laughs> Got my own place, right? <laughs> okay. And that was oh, and I'm grown, grown too, cause I hear I've been reading some comments. Apparently, I'm jealous. Listen, y'all, I have a house. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I stand correct that. I own a house. So y'all, children's in my comments. Get informed before you start attacking. Struggle <laughs> too, because we had to decide. Like, it, it took a lot of growing up to be like, dang, are we gonna live together or yeah, are we right, going right. to get our own spots? Get our own places, yeah. you know? And it would have been easy to live together, but the hard part was to say like, I think that where we're at yeah. and trying to- we just had gotten together, new, yeah. And mm -hmm. you know, I've never lived on my own before. I think that I owe it to myself That's and we up. owe it to this relationship That's to what's up. take our time yeah. and have our own places and stuff. And so far that has been really good. But since I have him, like now I've been spending a lot of time apart with Natalie because I got responsibilities. It's like <laughs> a real baby, you know. She got I a baby. Be, you know, I think a decision maker because I know that you don't really want Well we gonna talk about that in a second. We gonna talk about that in a second. All right. Do y'all think that we made the right decision by living separately. Ever. Yes. The second question that we have is when is too soon to like move in together? Because so I'm four months into my lease already. Yeah. The year mark is gonna be right around the corner. And okay, so she signed a one year lease. Yeah, 2021. Dang, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I really do like living by myself. <laughs> Man, I feel like it has done wonders for our relationship. Okay, how about this then? After your one year lease is over, get in contact with, with your building management and ask them if you can sign a month per month lease. That way, you don't have to rush into moving in with Easy just because your lease is over. At least you'll have a little bit of extra more time to think things through before y'all decide on this. I share. I think I get some pretty good damn advice. What y'all think? I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little grown. I'm a little grown. I'm 35 years old. I have a little bit of experience. Hey. No, she ain't lying. No, I love it too. Even even when we were just like best friends and stuff, of course we were still yeah. butt heads because we were together 24-7. We basically lived together yeah. without having all our stuff in the same place. It's good to have that space. Sometimes you need yep. it, you know, yep, especially yep. to work better, you know? And to give our, ourselves the chance to miss each other, exactly. you know? Like we work out together every morning and then it's nice that I go home to my apartment exactly. and I shower and I get ready. Mm -hmm. I, I meditate and journal. I have my yeah, routine. No. You know yeah, what I mean? No. Where I'm already at. At home and then I gotta <laughs> clean up dog poop and you know play with my son and then I gotta go play with my other son so he don't feel jealous boss it's like a whole routine <laughs> for me so when is too soon right. okay like when is too soon to move in together because really we were up. honestly thinking after this year leases up mm -hmm. that we will start looking for a house to get together yeah so then here's the next concern <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's how it is when you're in a grown relationship. When you kids and y'all are dating, they ain't shit. They ain't nothing. There ain't no, there ain't no lifelong decisions y'all be making. But when you're grown, grown, you have to really think things through before deciding on something. And even when you do that, it might be the wrong decision still. But at least they're attempting at it. So I give them credit. Two dogs. Mm. I do. I got two. That's what you were gonna bring up earlier, and I was like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, is that yet? Okay, so now I can talk about it. So now you can talk about it. Go ahead. Okay, so my biggest con not concerns, but I do come with not only one dog, but my brand new dog, my baby Pluto. You know, and if you guys, if you guys don't know, um, Natalie, she's very bougie. <laughs> and look, she, she, see how she hit me? She thought I was gonna say something crazy. <laughs> Yes, Natalie is very little bit. I can tell by your jacket. A certain way. But now that I have two sons, it's like, okay, how are we going to do this? This is kind of coming, not coming between us, but it's going to be a big thing that we need to discuss and how it's going to work. <laughs> you know? Two sons, yeah, two sons. That's how it is dating a single parent. I also have experience in that too. I've always dated single mothers. Always. It just happened to be that way. But I'm not a selfish person. So I've always understood that their kids come first. Always. So, nat nat. You with a single mama right now. So those dogs are her everything. So y'all gotta compromise. 
Like and you know, like I said, Natalie is really bougie, so we have to figure that out, work it out. So yeah. Ah, uh, what do y'all think? You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, we're gonna have to figure it out. Give us some an, an agreement that we can have. You know, because the thing is, yes, with boss, I didn't really mind because I was like, all right, I just know we're gonna have to get a house with a yard because boss mm -hmm. is an outside dog. You know, and he's a big like boy. Come in sometimes, yeah. But, you majority know, of the time he's outside. Though. Most majority of the time he's outside, but Definitely with Pluto, you know, I I guess she wants him to be an outside and inside dog. And I think with this type of dog, you kind of have to. I don't know. Yeah. You know, he's bougie. He's bougie. Right, okay. Like, hey, he's bougie. Okay. He's bougie, bougie. I've been racking my brain, you know, trying to think ahead before my lease is up. Okay. Like a year from now. Uh-huh. And <laughs> I'm like, all right, what can I do basically to meet somewhere in the middle? Okay. And okay. okay. <laughs> well, we could make sure we get a house that has a space for them okay. that has its own doorway. Right. Ooh, so that, that like it's literally their room. Yes, but not that not that you have to bring them through the house, but like say right like by the garage door. or something right. like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, or sure. like a side like laundry area. Oh, or, right. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. where they ha it has its own door. Mm -hmm. Um, you can have their little beds in there and yeah. you can keep it clean in there, but they don't have to be in like the main part of the house, you know? <laughs> I was thinking that is a great com compromise because it's you know looking out for the little pups you yeah. know and everyone will be happy what do you think poo -poo? you want your own room yeah so whatever my man all four of you will be happy you guys got to compromise if it is that's where my dogs are gonna be exactly yeah okay. okay. and there and you know like i said there has to be <laughs> like an entrance for them and an exit for them and if there isn't well we can't if we're, are we gonna buy our first house that's another discussion that's another, that's another discussion. discussion i don't think so all right hey. i do not think so do not go that far do not buy a house rent you guys have to establish this relationship first spend years together then buy a house honestly i just feel like yeah I, I have my ways of doing things right. in the house, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. our house is gonna be bougie too, you know. I want it to be really clean and stuff like that. And <laughs> right. that's kinda hard to so get. So you know that, you have to like, you know my house. Okay, so I heard what Natalie wants, but I need to hear what Easy wants because Easy, what you want also matters. And keep that in mind. I know you love Nat Nat and I know you want to give her the world. You want to make her happy. But also keep yourself happy. Because if you ain't happy, Nat Nat ain't going to be happy. And vice versa. So what do you want, Easy? No, I know. But you yeah. know me. What she's talking about and clean, she's talking about like, oh, I want white carpet. Oh, I <laughs> want a pink couch. Oh, I don't I want, want to see Versace mirrors. Fair. Right. So that's her definition of clean, which is like she wants everything to look clean as far as what she purchases. So getting dogs with a white white rug wouldn't work out. Of course yeah. not. You know, getting a dog with a pink couch isn't going to work describing her apartment. She's right. clean too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Don't play. But <laughs> it's just, you know, we we just have different taste. taste. And I don't know if you guys can think of any other type of compromise where you can, you know, both of our concerns and stuff, comment that below, because we are open ears and we need the Neasy gang to exactly. help us try to make a huge decision. Like I like that. I like that they're asking for our, for our opinions. Problem with that though, Easy and Nat Nat, the majority of your followers and your supporters are children. And I know this because they come to my channel talking they shit. <laughs> so their advice, Maybe don't take because if they're under the age of 18 and then they've never lived on their own They might not have the best input because they're always gonna want y'all together So of course they're gonna want y'all to live together. That's what they're gonna say. Listen to us grown folks. We know a little something This is big. This is big. Yeah, we can make a break or something. Right? Girl, this ain't making breaking nothing. What you talking about? If my dogs can't come, this is a make or break. <laughs> okay? You must not want real kids, huh? Ooh. We talking about that right now? Yeah, talk about it. I want to know. Anyway. All right, all right. It's getting too spicy in here, Nisi. Ow! Uh, you playing with your me. <laughs> all right, Nisi. And usually I would say that they shouldn't be talking about kids this early on in the relationship, but they've known each other for four years and they are in their mid-20s. So I think it's perfectly fine for them to have that topic of conversation. So good for y'all.
you know, we wrapping it up because the, the topic was getting a little juicy. You know Lush, what I'm saying? Got, guys, please comment below what you guys think. We really need your help. And y'all know we read our comments, okay? So spam the comments. So with all that being said, get this Yeah, so we can stuff. do our share for share. Oh, yes. we do in every video. Exactly. So make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up. Spam the comments right now. And I just want to end this video off saying I love you and I am the prank queen. All right. Music game. All right, y'all. I, 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 I,